Hi friends, how are you today? I'm here to read you an Easter story this morning. This one is called The Easter Story, and it's a scholastic book. And let's see, it is The Easter Story as retold by Aaliyah Zobel Nolan and illustrated by Trace Montgomery. So let's see what we can learn about Easter today. All right, there's a little angel. Isn't she lovely? <clears throat> There we go. While Jesus was on earth, he healed the sick and taught people about God. So everywhere he went, men and women and boys and girls wanted to meet him. One day, he had to go to Jerusalem to celebrate a feast day. As he rode into town on a donkey, a crowd ran out to meet him. Some shouted, blessed is the king, and put their coats down in his path. Others waved palm branches and sang songs. The leaders were jealous. They did not like Jesus. Look how the people follow this man, they whispered. We must find a way to get rid of him. That night, Jesus ate Passover feast with his friends. He knew it would be the last meal they would eat together. He didn't want them to forget him. So when the food was passed around, he turned to them and said, when you eat bread and drink wine like this, remember me. Jesus knew the jealous leaders would take him away soon. He also knew someone sitting in the room would turn him in. Who is it, Lord? asked John. Jesus answered, the one I give bread to, as he passed the loaf to Judas. Judas whispered an excuse and left. After dinner, Jesus and some friends went to a garden. Jesus knew he would suffer and die, so he was very sad. I'm going to pray now, he said. Please keep watch. His friend said, yes, Lord, but then they fell asleep. Jesus knelt and closed his eyes. Father, you can take away this cup of suffering that is to come, he said softly, but I will do whatever you want. Then Jesus got up and went back to his friend. Suddenly, a group of soldiers marched up to Jesus. Judas was with them. He ran over to Jesus and greeted him with a kiss. This was the signal for the soldiers to arrest Jesus, and when they did, his friends left him and ran away. Jesus was brought before the leaders. Some people told lies about him, but they had no proof. So the leaders could not charge Jesus with any wrong. Then they asked, you say you are the son of God. Is that true? Jesus answered, I am. This made the leaders angry. This man is guilty of a terrible offense. He says he is God's son when he is not, they shouted. For this, he must be punished. <clears throat> So they turned Jesus over to Pilate, the Roman governor, and it was decided Jesus must die on the cross. But first, he had to carry it a long way to a place called Calvary. The cross was very heavy, and Jesus fell three times. His friends could not do anything but watch and cry. Jesus died soon after. His friends took his body and buried it in a new tomb. Then they rolled a big stone in front, but the leaders were still afraid. They remembered that Jesus said he would rise again in three days, so they gave the order for his soldiers to guard the tomb day and night. A few days later, some friends went to Jesus' tomb. The big stone was rolled away. It's empty, they shouted when they looked in. Then they saw an angel. Jesus is not here, he said. He is alive again. So they ran to tell the others. After Jesus rose from the dead, he visited his friends who were happy to see him. Before he left for heaven, he told them to spread the good news of God's love to everyone. Because Jesus died and rose again, he earned us a place in heaven. That is why we celebrate Easter. And this was the Easter story as retold by Aaliyah Zobel Nolan. I hope you all liked our story today. I miss you very much, and I wish you a very, very happy Easter with your family. I love you. See you soon.